Welcome to the Warfighter Sanctuary Podcast. I'm your host, Andre Rivera. And today our guest is Rob Rivera, which happens to be my first cousin. We grew up together. We lived in, uh, together in Jersey. Also enlisted in the military. We come from a military family. Our, great, our grandfather served in the Army and the Air Corps. And Rob Rivera enlisted in the Army, not the Marine Corps. And uh, as far as the whole uh, Army, military thing, you know, listen, we can't all be perfect, okay? We have all mistakes. <laughs> no, but I, I did enjoy my time in the service. Um, as far as the, as far as my, my role goes in my private sector now, um, I've been in business for about 15 years. It was one of those, uh, those jobs that came out of necessity. Um, after I was injured in the military, I had to sort of pick up and, and figure out what to do next, and I had some background in photography, so I said, you know, Got to survive, right? That's what we do, we're survivors. And so I said, well, I take that knowledge and, and try to harness that and go from there. So it's been 15 years of doing photography. We started doing videography a couple of years ago and um, then started offering photo booths as well. So for someone that's having a private event, we can really kind of work our team and, and make sure that we're covering all ends of things. Excellent, excellent. So you said photo booths, so what, what is it, what was that? Oh, so the people, folks, couples can take pictures together. Make it look nice, so. Got it, yeah. got it. So what else does it entail for like for, for uh, wedding photography? It's a it's a task. Um, you know when you when you start learning how to do photography, it's it's interesting because you learn different styles. So you'll do landscape photography. Maybe you'll start taking on some portraits. Maybe some small events. Uh, but to do things like a wedding, uh, you're you're utilizing every type of photography there is. You're doing portraits. You're doing landscapes. You're doing macro. You're doing sports. You're doing all these different things. Nightlife, and you're all doing it in one day. And so you have to make sure that you have a good team with you. I mean, there's nothing more important than that is your team. And then um, also making sure that everyone on the team knows their roles and responsibilities so they can go ahead and execute that appropriately. Absolutely, because so. I can imagine how challenging it is because you have one take, really. You can't like reduplicate the wedding and no. have everybody come back tomorrow. No, no seconds. And no you're seconds. trying to capture a moment a very important moment in people's lives, probably one of the most important, if not the most it important is. pinnacle of their life. It's like a phase getting married. But it's no different when you're doing a wedding because realistically, taking pictures or doing video, it matters and it's great and it's important, of course, but being there for your client and forming that relationship and rapport with your client and with their family and with their guests, some of which are intoxicated, whatever the case is, dealing with all those different challenges, that's that's what really makes us different than most of the companies. Being a support structure for these people is what changes everything. I lost everything at that point in time because of the injury. And so I said, well, you know, I gotta I gotta pick up and keep surviving, gotta keep breathing. And so I said, well, I know some things about photography. It doesn't seem like it's that laborious. Let me see if there's something I can do. It was hard. It was hard because of the back injury. Um, you know, having had three surgeries and, and, and really just kind of endured a lot. Um, I now have prosthetics in my back and it helps me function. That's how I began the business and that was back in 2010. Uh, fast forward 15 years and here we are.